Hello everyone, welcome to my today's video talking about IPv6 only VPS. In this video, I'm gonna continue my IPv6 only VPS settings. I'm gonna create an Apache or Nginx website to allow IPv4 to access this IPv6 only VPS website. This is our IPv6 address here. You can see it's on a Ethernet 0. If you look at the IP right now, I already have an outbound IPv4 IP address because I'm configured and DNS to using checks. DNS64 and uh, NAT64 services to translate IPv6 traffic to the IPv4 traffic. That is outbound and I explained it the configuration in my previous video. In today's video I'm going to talk about how to set up by Nginx or Apache website on this machine on the IPv6 address and then eventually we're going to use IPv4 to access to it. So I'm going to do update. I already did that, but just want to show you the process. There's no packages marked for update. I have a typo here. Great. So in this way, we don't have problem to start to install a package. Let's start to install uh, Nginx. Before we install Nginx, we need to install EPL release first. It's about 24K. Complete it. Now we can install Nginx. There's an option you can install Apache HTTP D service as well. Let's try Nginx in this lab. It took a bit of time, but eventually it found the package and then they can install it. It is installing all dependencies. We can detach this session and go back to our main session. 
and we can check the CPU, we can check the other things as well. You see uh, the yarn command is using most of the um, CPUs. In any time, you can use a screen, screen command to go back to resume the session. We detach it. So we can tell the installing has been completed. They are doing a verifying. Perfect. So we got the Nginx installed. We need to start. Nginx will not start it by itself. We need to start it manually. And we need to set it up as uh, when system reboot started automatically. Enable. Now we can test our local host. So you can see the welcome CentOS page shows up. HTTP header. So website is good to go and we can quit from the server, we can try from internet. So this is our main session, we can quit from our server. We go back to our internet server in Amazon AWS. So we're going to use in curl to check if we can see the website. Yes, the IPv6 website is up and running. So you can tell from here. When you use curl to last server, it works. But I cannot test it from my machine because my machine is IPv4. What we can do, we can use Cloudflare. You can add IPv6 DNS name here. Let's try to say IPv6. And then we need to get IPv6 address. I have it here. Get so we created DNS record for this IPv6 address and we DNS record using IPv6. Okay, now we can give it a try. Since this is HTTP only website, we want to give it a try from incognito web window. So if you do it in a normal window, it will automatically change it to HTTPS that will cause it failure. So pv6.51 sec.org. Bam. The website is up. So that's our IPv6 website and we can exit from our IPv4 world. So thanks Cloudflare DNS services. You can see document how to add DNS record and how this thing's working, how DNS traffic working. So there's Cloud Edge. As long as you put that IPv6 DNS name into Cloudflare, you don't need to put the A record, you just put the AAAA IPv6 record, then they will automatically translate it in their Cloudflare Edge and then send it to Cloudflare Protect the website. It's all automatic. What you need to do is you just need to create a DNS IPv6 record to point into your IPv6 server. That's it. That's how you can configure your IPv6 service to use the by IPv4 world which is using Cloudflare DNS record. Thank you for watching.